Hello students, welcome to Teach You Smart. Let's continue our journey through data handling. Today, we are going to discuss a new topic, chance and probability. Have you heard the weather forecast in the daily news, stating the chance of rain falling upon us, or leaving us untouched by its watery embrace? Isn't it interesting to explore the fascinating world of chance and predict the weather's mystery? Will raindrops fall from the sky or will we stay dry? Similarly, let's turn our attention to a card from a deck and consider the chance of drawing a spade. What are the odds of pulling that symbol from the pack? Now, imagine spinning a wheel and examining the chance of the pointer landing on the color red. What are the odds that the pointer lands on the color red as the wheel comes to rest? In all these events, there is some uncertainty or chance. Chance is the term used to define the possibility of something happening. When chance is defined in mathematics, it is called probability. That is, the measure of chance for an event to occur is known as probability. We use probabilities in real life. Let's look at some more real life examples. In the election, people are asked for their choice during the general poll before the election. What do you think? Who will win this time? I think candidate three. No, I think candidate two should win. According to me, candidate one must win because he has done great work for the people in the past. The number of answers received is used to find the probabilities of winning for each candidate. And an exit poll after the people have casted their vote is also used to predict the probability for a candidate to win the election. Next, suppose Sumith has scored 85% marks in an examination. Last year, out of 2,000 candidates who secured 85% marks, 1,600 students were selected for the job. So chance for Sumit getting selected for the job is 1,600 out of 2,000 based on previous year's data. Now we can calculate the probability of Sumitha's selection. In these examples, we obtained the probability of winning for each candidate and obtained the probability of selecting Sumith. Next, we will discuss some terms related to probability. The first one is experiment. Any procedure that can be infinitely repeated and has a well-defined set of possible outcomes is called an experiment. For example, while rolling a die, we get the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 as outcomes. Therefore, rolling a die and collecting the outcomes is an experiment. The process of conducting an exit poll is an experiment. Rotating a spin wheel and pointing to a particular color is also an example of an experiment. Next, let's move to another term related to probability. Before a cricket match starts, Captains of both teams, Team A and Team B, toss a coin to decide which team will bat or field first. Is it possible for them to influence the outcome of a coin toss? Can Team A intentionally control on getting heads or tails as their preference? No, they can't predict whether the coin falls heads or tails. Similarly, when we toss a die, we cannot predict the outcome. Such an experiment is called random experiment. That is, a random experiment is defined as an experiment whose outcome cannot be predicted with certainty. Also, any single possible result 
of a random experiment is called an outcome. Here, heads or tails are the possible outcomes. That is, on tossing a coin, there are two possible outcomes. Therefore, the possibility that a heads turns up is one out of two. Similarly, the possibility of tails occurring is also one out of two. Here, the possibilities are same, isn't it? Yes, they are same. In such cases, each of the outcomes has the same chance of occurring. Or, we can say that the different outcomes of the experiment are equally likely. That is, equally likely means that each outcome of an experiment occurs with equal probability. Let's have a quick recap. Today we discussed the terms chance, probability, experiment, random experiment, outcomes and equally likely outcomes. Before winding up, let's check how much you understood by doing an activity. If you try to start a scooter, what are the possible outcomes? That's all for now. See you all in the next class with another interesting topic.